Welcome back to the Crochet Credits. Host my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do the bespoke crochet pillow. So I'm using Bernat Symphony today. I don't have a PDF to show you here on camera but I am gonna take you through that. I've already shown you the photo and it's actually really neat. So it's a very very easy repeat pattern. You can change the pillow size to any pillows that you want uh, once you understand this pattern and you're going to get yourself started. So once you do the two sides of the pillow you're just going to join them and then we'll show you well I'll demonstrate how that's done as well. So you'll need a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook in order to play today and a tapestry needle and a 16 inch round pillow form if you'd like to play. As we get started today the color that you saw was Sea Spray Bernat Symphony. So we're going to begin and we want to start off with a slip knot and we're going to chain a total of three. So one, two and three. So you'll make two uh, pillow faces exactly the same way. So join to the first sing uh, chain to form the center ring and then we're going to begin then round number one. So just uh, put your straggler as if it's part of the ring and therefore to get stuck underneath. So let's begin round number one. We're gonna chain three and that'll count as a double crochet in this one here. When we're doing chaining of twos in the future those will not count as a stitch. So starting off in the center of the ring go right around the straggler so that it captures underneath and you are going to put seven double crochets into the center of that ring. So we can count those out. So with the chaining of three and the seven that gives you a total count of eight in the circle. So this is uh, technically, so the chain is one, two, three and I wanna go to all the way to eight. So this is four, five, six, seven and eight and then I wanna join it to the top of the beginning chain three. So you might wanna just verify that your counts are right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and now let's begin round number two. So we're going to begin number two and we're gonna be doubling the stitches to 16 in this round. In order to do that we're gonna chain two and that doesn't count as a stitch as I already mentioned. So we're gonna do one half double crochet in the same one as the join and then we're gonna do then a front post double crochet around the same stitch. So right underneath. So just go around the post itself and do a front post double crochet. So you're essentially just adding two stitches to each of the stitch. So the next one then is one half double crochet in the next stitch and then around the same post of that stitch you're going to put in a front post double crochet. Okay so one more time. So the next stitch is a half right into the regular stitch work and then around into the same post of that stitch is a front post double crochet. Please do that all the way around. This is round number two. So coming all the way around in round number two the last stitch is a front post double crochet and you are going to join it to the first half double crochet. So ignore this chain two and just go in the top of the first half double crochet. See that chaining two kind of hides things so you don't end up with a gap. Let's move on to round number three. As we begin number three I want you to pay attention to how this is growing. Each one of the stitch uh, work, a uh, stitch work around is the same. The difference is, is that it's expanding. So eventually after round number seven it's gonna say continue the pattern as established and if you're paying attention to how it's going in it actually makes a lot of sense. So let's begin round number three. So you're just gonna chain uh, two doesn't count as anything and in the same one that you did the join you're gonna put in two half double crochets. So one and two and what stitch is then next? It's this front post double crochet. So you're gonna keep that as a front post double crochet. So keep that in mind. So the, the repeat pattern around this whole thing then is that the next stitch that you will have is a ha two half double crochets. So we have one and two. So two into the same stitch And then what stitch is next? It's this front post double so you'll make that as a front post double crochet. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So two halves just in the next and then the next stitch after that is a front post double. Please do this all the way around. This is round number three. Coming around to the end of number three the last stitch is a front post double crochet. 
because that's the last stitch that you can see and then you're just going to join it to the top of the first half double crochet. So ignore that chain two. And now let's begin round number four. So round number four. So we have our spokes that you can see. You may not be able to see it in this light but it's here. And so the difference is, is that these spokes get further and further apart from each other. So how we start round number four is that we're gonna chain two. Doesn't count as anything. And you are going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch. You've done that before. That's the first one that it's joining to. So we know that last time is that the next stitch was the front post double crochet but you can see at this moment is that it's too far away. There's a stitch in between. So the next stitch is just a, a half double crochet and then you can do that. I want you to kind of pick up on how this is growing. So let's uh, begin the next section. So there's eight sections all the way around. So the eight pieces of the pie. So the next one after this spoke thing is two halves into that one. And then the next one is one by itself and then you'll be running it back into a spoke. So it's a half double crochet on its own and then the spoke is a front post double crochet. So one more time the first one will have two half double crochet the next one is by itself and then you'll run back into a spoke which is next. So please do this all the way around. This is round number four. So I'm coming up to the end of number four. The spoke is the last thing. So it's a front post double crochet and then you just join it to the beginning half double crochet. So that was round number four. Make sure you kind of tight when you go to join just to be sure. So let's uh, move on to round number five. So chain up two doesn't count as anything. So the first one in the same join is gonna be two half double crochet. So we know that. So what do we know then based on what we just did? The spoke is further away. So that means that the next two here are one half double crochet each. And then the spoke is next. Okay, so then that's the front post double crochet. So the repeat pattern then for this round, this is number five, is that there's two half double crochets in the first one and then in the next two stitches it's one half double crochet by itself. So one and two and then the spoke is next right there and that's gonna be a front post double crochet. So this is round number five. Please do this all the way around. So I'm coming up to the end of number five. The last one is a spoke, front post double crochet and then just join to the first half double crochet. So round number six. Do you see how things are getting bigger and bigger? So let's continue. Chain two and put two half double crochets in the same one as the join. And then look where the spoke is. So this time there's one, two and three by itself. So it gets to the point on this pattern you don't need to follow this tutorial at all because you can understand it. So the three are by itself then a spoke and you see how it's kind of pulling it to be a spiral. That neat. So then the next one after that is gonna be two half double crochet and then just kind of watch for it so that you see that there's three that has to go by itself. So one, two and three and then a spoke is the next front post double crochet. Please do this all the way around. This is number six. So I'm just coming all the way around on number six and the spoke is last which is the front post double crochet and then we're just going to join. So finally the pattern says number seven and then I'll take you here and then just make sure that you're just gonna continue until you get to your about 16 inches in the diameter and then you're gonna make two of those. So in number seven here we're just gonna chain up two. Doesn't count as anything. You're gonna put two half double crochets in the beginning. One and now you're looking for when the spoke is coming next and so this time there's four. So one, two, three, four. So there's four on its own. So what do you think is gonna happen in number eight? Then there will be five on its own and then eventually in the future it's gonna be six on its own and etc. and you'll do that in a continuous pattern going until you get to the size that you want. Just remember after the spoke you will add two into the very next one after it and then the next few remain on their own. So what I want you to do is go all the way around to number seven. We'll talk about what we're gonna do then next steps and basically this is essentially the pattern itself so it's actually that easy to do. 
So eventually you'll come all the way around. You're just gonna spoke the last one. That's a front post double and then join. So let's just kind of review where we are. I'm just gonna snip this yarn off at this moment. So you'll, you'll keep on going so don't snip. So you're just gonna pull things and just pull this through. So as I said you can make this pillow any size. So you can go as big as you wanna go. Let me just back you out a little bit here. And so you can go as big as you need to go. You see that the other side is flat and you can get rid of any loose ends that you would like to do. So you wanna do two of these panels. So what you can do after you have this done is that I'm recommending that you use the tapestry needle to hide in any loose ends that you have at the end of the round. So you will go to about 16 inches. So to do that you just turn it over to the back side and just run the needle through the back only and pull through once and if this is truly a throw, throw pillow for you make sure you do go back and forth three times so that you can trap those ends in so they'll never fall out. Easy peasy right? So then well, all you're just going to do then is that once you get your second piece done you're gonna put the back sides together so the back sides will match each other and you're gonna go about halfway around before you insert the pillow uh, form in it. So the pillow form is permanently in there. Once you have that done you're just gonna grab this the yarn from the strand and uh, well, how many balls did it say? It said one ball. So you're gonna go through the end like there. So the front's facing you. The other side the front will be facing towards the back. You're gonna go through both thicknesses and all you're just going to do is just single crochet yourself around. So you're just gonna go through this one. You go through the next one and then single crochet it together and then once you're done all the way around you fasten off and just weave in your ends. So you can do that and it's actually really quite simple. I don't have two to demonstrate how to do that but it's pretty self explanatory. So once you have the two panels done it's really quite amazing and this is a really neat concept. Do you think that you could do a round afghan with this? Absolutely. I don't know how much yarn you'll need but this is a really neat concept and this is the bespoke Crochet Pillow by Yarnspirations.com. Have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.